Catherine, tell me, why should people watch the press conference tomorrow? There's no more important issue affecting people today than the use of tricks and inversion to sabotage the rule of law in country after country. So if you are a person, you're busy, you're raising kids, you need to still know about this because what is happening is very quietly a group of unaccountable people are going into a room and coming up with a change in rules that they are going to try and implement an overturning of every constitution and every legal framework in many, many countries around the world. And if that is allowed to happen, literally all the rights and protections we've enjoyed living under the rule of law instead of tyranny by unaccountable forces will be, we will lose essentially everything that we've ever enjoyed in the Western world. So this is the end of Western liberty and it cannot be permitted and it's going to have a major impact. Uh, when the World Economic Forum says it's 2030, and you have no assets and you're happy. What I hear, it's 2030, we've stripped you of your assets and you're mind controlled. And so uh, every person who wants to enjoy property rights and wants to enjoy the liberty to travel, the liberty to speak, this is important to you. This cannot be permitted. What should we do about it? There's so many things we can do about it. The first thing we need to do uh, about it is to bring transparency. And that's what the attorneys led by Philip Cruz in Switzerland are going to do tomorrow. They have made material available so you can understand what's happening and work with your legislators to stop this by stop financing the WHO, by stop being a member of the WHO. First, it starts with transparency, but then you can act. If you go to Soleri.com, my website, you'll find the letters that I've written to my state representatives, my governor, my senators, my congressmen. And, um, and, and what I've said is this is unacceptable and, and we need to withdraw from the WHO and we need to stop financing the WHO. And that is something we can do, not just through our representatives, but in the marketplace too. There are many corporations that are financing and private organizations that are financing and supporting this. We can make it clear to them the same. This is inexcusable, unacceptable. We won't support them if they do this. What would you like to say to Ernst Kuypers, our Minister of Health? And you can say that right in the camera. I would much prefer the Minister of Health deciding what happens in health in the Netherlands than a secret group of people, you know, who are deciding it globally. So an unaccountable secret group deciding the health policies and many other policies, economic and financial, because the health restrictions are being used as a guise for implementing financial changes. And so I would much prefer the Dutch leadership chosen by the Dutch people to make these decisions for the Netherlands. So the fear that we might lose our sovereignty is right? Absolutely. If, if, if the WHO amendment changes are permitted and then the WHO treaty goes into effect, no one in the Netherlands will have very much say at all about what happens in the Netherlands.